welcome to Mlimani Discussion Forum. My name is Esther Liaru. Today we are going to talk about the experience uh, that the first year students encounter upon their arrival at the universities. It's November, the universities are open. We have many students going uh, or arriving to the campuses. We have so many students here at the University of Dar es Salaam, specifically first year students. And they actually have high expectations. They have uh, many dreams, actually big dreams. But they also, uh, they also face challenges as well as setbacks. Joining me today are two students from the University of Dar es Salaam. They are pursuing different courses. Welcome, Vanessa and Faradi. Thank you. I'm so happy that you are here today. I'm also happy that you are here for that. Three, four, five, and more years. <laughs> Three, four, 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 five more years. Come, maybe postgraduate and undergraduate and postgraduate. Postgraduate, whatever okay. the case may be, even being the lecturers here. Wow, <laughs> the lecturers better watch their job because somebody's going to take their job very soon. <laughs> very soon. Okay, Faraji, you're yeah. actually here. What are you actually pursuing? Um, pursuing the. B.A.J. meaning the Bachelor of Arts in Journalism okay. at the University of Uni Dar es Salaam, yes. the SJMC campus for not So okay. it's something peculiar, you know, something different, very, something uh, yeah. very beautiful. Being at such a kind of big and big, or more than, than being big, the yeah. university that people in East Africa, people in Africa, people in Tanzania, people from everywhere of that yeah. corner, from anywhere, this world are dreaming to be. Yeah. And it's the University of Dar es Salaam. Oh, that is really Maybe nice. SJMC or IM this time. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so was that your dream cause always to check Bachelor of Arts in Journalism? Um, Not being that, that dream cause the same yeah. there, but the dream job maybe. Dream job? Yeah, so you cannot work on something without studying more and more, but that's yeah. the thing. So that made it the dream cause, mm. meaning from the beginning, I uh, used to find myself like, am I to be like Salim Kikeke? Oh, am I to be like uh, okay. Charles Hirali or anybody oh. else be doing better those days, yeah. doing better these days and for the future? Yeah. And I stand like the mirror for others, yeah. stand like the mirror yes. for the media, stand like the mirror for the government, yeah. stand like the mirror for the world and the whole globe. So okay. that made me push myself like I have to do something that will yeah. make me stand on the side that's better for me. Okay. Or should I get this best? Education app, or yeah. should I go for making myself achieve my goals in yeah. that same place or that beautiful place that I chose? And it's really the place that I have to be, it's University of Dar es Salaam, that will build me, become who I am to be. Thank you so much, yeah. and you're mostly welcome. Thank you. Vanessa, can you tell us a bit about yourself and how you came about the uh, University of Dar es Salaam and choosing the career that you're actually taking right now? Thank you. Actually, I'll be brief of my history. Yeah. Actually, I'm Vanessa in Frakimaro, and that I was, I I studied yeah. at the school of Saint Jude, pursuing okay. my from primary to secondary. Okay. What were you Saint Jude? In Arusha. Okay. Yeah. Uh, actually, I had three dreams before becoming an accountant. Before okay. having a dream of becoming an accountant, I had, I had the first dream. I wanted to become a, a doctor. Wow. The second dream, I wanted to become a, what should I say, president. Wow, Mama yeah. Samia. Yes. Exactly. We have Mama Samia. <laughs> and the third dream, I wanted to become a lawyer. Oh, and okay. after that, uh, due to some reasons, especially the studies. Okay. I, I actually, after the, after the, when I reached in Form 3, yeah. I, I failed to attain the marks which I had to pursue PCB okay. or the kind of HKL. Okay. Yeah, so I had to pursue ECA. ECA. Yeah. That's the, economics, commerce and accounting. Yeah. Okay. And after all, I think that was my dream, my dream career ever since. I, I love those, I love seeing people getting in offices mm. and I love seeing people calculating, though I hate mathematics. I'm not good at mathematics. I exactly. wouldn't say I love mathematics. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that would actually be bad for me. I would never take ECA. Never. No. I think journalism, um, with, journalism with mathematics is yeah. like, what do you need to report about? Figures? I, I, I would figures just put those figures in statistics or maybe charts. You know, mathematics, it's very bad for the people like calculating, buying yeah. something, but it's very good for the money. Yes. Money, money, money counting 
how many group in nobody can fail don't you re- don't so, you really need your i mean accountant in your courses no accountants no, in our courses isn't. for journalism what do you need to report after all you should you know you know some kind of stuff like your your salaries your wages your uh, you know you know i, I got I my think, point what i've said yeah. is like nobody can fail that mathematics yeah. so calculating the amount yeah. of uh-huh. so no you're, one can you're speaking yeah. of the four figure kinds of, of stuff yes yeah. i think i don't like numbers but i like counting money logarithm but i like yeah. counting money and i'm okay. good at that yeah. bring me the b there and i'll tell you that's the b even without it yes <laughs> i always see that it's calculating that b, x give me that question and ask me okay. what's the answer i have okay. to take a lot of time okay you know. so upon your arrival i do understand that you had high expectations has the university met your expectations um environmental wise some academic them, wise some of them right but some of them i think you know mm-hmm. we have a big expectations that are okay. real yeah. for example you know sitting somewhere and saying ah, i'm dreaming of having a city house okay um, like five six to seven floors mm-hmm. but if you find yourself having a single floor house and it's more beautiful than those floors you are thinking about so mm. that's what happened like when i had udism such university a very big university yes. the university that people like being there yes. then the image coming into me it was like i'll find somewhere like i'll have to be in a lift moving from one level <laughs> to another floor taking the other i class, think you watch too hours. much hollywood movies exactly. not hollywood yes, movies exactly. it's like i think so. this oh, university is such different like any other environment in okay. the educational okay. level but coming this way i found things on the environmental side yeah. they are a bit different but beautiful you know attractive yeah, beautiful. you find every environment it's like it favors you to know yeah. what brought you here yeah. it favors you to stand as a student it favors you to do something that will build you more experience on mm. your course so yeah. all in all didn't make me like disappointed okay. no it made me feel like i have to do something yeah. here yeah. doesn't matter about the environment doesn't yeah. matter about the kind of the things that are in here yeah. all in all i take them positive and they give me the positive result and so mm-hmm. to hear i can say the environment it's beautiful all they know what i was thinking and dreaming of and imagining to yeah. like the beautiful environment and yeah. i found it here apart from those buildings and whatever that <laughs> i applause i found it good but um we talk about that our uh, class side of yeah. the environment yeah uh the dormitories i can say the hostels yeah. one of part of the amazing side of the university of really? Pakistan is like you find yourself on my own official person or something else <laughs> like you're somewhere you feel like privileged privileged, privileged yeah. and you think what next you should i do if i'm somewhere that favors me do anything in here i can start here i can have the company mates like we will discuss on something yeah. no such limitations full electricity what is there and everything that you feel to have is there yeah. so that supports you have you all the basic things. all the basic needs that are there you need the gift area for the meals it's there yeah. and everything is there so it's something that makes you feel like i'm at a place that it's right for me to be there okay on and yeah the side of the lectures maybe the class yeah. class teachers i can say that teachers all in all nothing that changes Okay. you find yourself you in a best place yeah. teacher treating you like am i the secondary level student <laughs> or am i the primary level student yeah. making sure that you understand each point of what he talks yeah. or what he teaches and yeah. you find yourself asking how do people feel this way but i okay. think it's still it's still okay. earlier to judge or it's, how it's it happens yeah but do you think how, how do they feel like teachers yeah. are very serious making someone feel like you're not here for only studies you're here for your future okay. feeling like Are you here to make your future better and that's why this university is more different than any other okay what about you were your expectations met upon your arrival with my side the, when i when i speak in the side of lecturers yeah i didn't i didn't i didn't really expect that i should ha- i could have contact with the i mean the contact of lecturers because in our school you're not allowed <laughs> even they say with the kind of CP, c c okay. is it cp special protection policy okay. that you shouldn't even have the you shouldn't even have the contact of your teachers okay yeah like, that was like it was a, it was amazing meeting here the, that lecturers could provide their contacts even and i was oh that even if they <laughs> face a certain trouble maybe yeah. you can even contact the lecturers I'm like oh, yeah i have a problem but with school you should face the library or you should face the uh, the computers or yeah. you should even contact somebody who maybe is the best then he, he or she is a student yeah. yeah 
And sometimes, you know, students are not perfect as well. Okay. So you might end up, I mean, you are wrong. Even the, the, the genius person that you're meeting yeah. is also wrong. Really? Yeah, sure. It happens. So, so it, it seems that um, here, students are more like privileged people. They can actually exactly. talk to their students freely. Mm -hmm. And then in secondary, you cannot just do that. Not you cannot just call that. your teacher. Hello, teacher. Mm -hmm. I have this and this and this. But right now, you can actually have his phone number. Even go even through the social yeah, media you, you, platforms. You it, yeah. But oh, yeah. now, to the side of SDMC, where I'm taking my course. Yes. Yeah, it's like... The different thing. Yeah. I didn't know even I didn't think that I'll find the studios here for the radio yeah. on air, for the TVs on air, yes. find directors on the same place. I was thinking like how do those directors from their jobs come to direct the things at this university? Uh, yes. But that's yes. different. They produce everything here. Everything they produce here. everything here. It's like even you have time to go in the studio session, practice what people do and build yourself more and more. So that's an amazing scene. Yeah. You must be so happy. So happy. Okay. And even I cannot even talk of it more and more, but find myself like I shouldn't fail to do something. Okay, so you are currently very free. I do I think you'd actually agree with me that you are now you now have this enormous freedom yeah. they're experiencing. When you're in high school or secondary, your guardians or your parents did not allow you to make some decisions or do some things because they thought that you were, you, you were not at that age or not matured enough. What are the things that you can actually do right now freely and you were not allowed to do before? Um, we boys, yes. our side, it was like... Okay, first of all, are you still a boy? I'm not a boy. You're not a boy anymore. <laughs> but recently you were a boy. I was a boy Right now you're a man. Yeah. First right now year I'm man. a man. First year man. Okay. The best year boy. I was yeah. like, I need to have something like freedom. Mm. Think of how should I dress? Yeah. yeah. Mm. How should I look like having beards for those who are yeah. having such long hair? Because you're not allowed to have beards, must you shave allowed, it every time. You are not allowed to have beards, not allowed to have such long hair. But this way, you're free to do that as long as you look smart you know, okay. on your side. But also, the uniforms that we are used to there, this way, yeah. they are not. No uniforms, no uniforms, wear whatever you want. Whatever you wore, the good thing is that you capture what you talk. Okay. But also those having phones and other electronic devices that I were used to for those days for only the, like checking for the parents or yeah. relatives, friends. Others used to them negatively and yeah. that's why even they are prohibited being used. Oh, yeah. This way you are allowed to use it on your time. And what the good thing is that you use it for your positive, positive outcome. Like mm. I might be given uh, let me say like assignment and how can you find out how to get those answers or those more explanations through it through those uh, electronic devices being yes. the pc being the phone or tablet anything like that so this we were free to use those things but on another side it's like uh people go beyond okay when we were there we were not allowed like who is dating this yes people are punished this will look like you and obviously, if you're in secondary, you're not allowed, you're not to, allowed engage to do in anything. anything. You're not allowed to engage in anything. This yeah. way, it's like you're not you're no longer a student of being uh, like you judged by the rules. Yeah. This way, you're judged by yourself. You're yeah. judged by your goals. Yeah. What do you you're need on to your do? own, right? You're now. on your own this way. You're judged by your awareness. What do you need to do? What, what or what are the ways should you adhere and overcome the challenges and make yourself? achieve what you have to do and you can okay. say this your freedom is like a little bit good but it's hard it's hard, hard. you must have that self-discipline you must have such self-discipline self-awareness so now i should uh go with this uh freedom and make myself reach my goals yeah and many people don't don't succeed i think okay yeah, we have a lot of people like they engage more in their love affairs and find yeah. them yeah, like they have abandoned this education that made them here. But on my side, I think, I cannot give that correct answer, but I will try <laughs> you know, the positive side and make myself achieve the goals. Okay. Uh, another issue is like this way, you know, we were used to, hey, this goes for the lunchtime. Yeah. This goes, I don't know, for the roll call. This goes for the home six the in the summer. This way, it's your self-awareness that will make you know what to be at a certain time. And at, yeah. the, at that right time, you have to be there. There's for example, you'll find yourself bell. like, yeah. Yeah. Um, which lectures there? What subject will I have at a certain time? What to get it through your device? Mm -hmm. Being a PC, being a phone, the groups that are formed on your, your classes, 
happened through the CRR contacts, I mean the class representatives at those levels we used to call them monitors. We have no monitors this way. Yeah. The CRRs and that will make you better. The cross relationship with your lectures, your teachers will make you achieve or get any information about your class hours. Those days it was like you're told through the notes board. These days yes. all notes boards would make you free to to, to to go on and check maybe what goes on is through your phones, through your <coughs> electronic devices. But the difference now from mm. that level we were at this level here. Yeah. Okay. On your side, <coughs> do you think that there might be any negative impacts to the first years regarding this freedom thing? Because right now everybody's free, I can do anything. Maybe I'm from Mara and I'm come here in the <coughs> University of Dar es Salaam. When I was back there home, I was not allowed maybe to have a phone, a computer, I was also <coughs> even allowed to have a boyfriend. And even coming here, my dad and mom still said, you know what, you're going to school, that is still school. Sure. Do not engage in any relationship, in fact, sexual relationship, till when you are done. Mm -hmm. What's the impact of this freedom? What I used to say is, freedom is allowed, but too much freedom is food. Okay. Yeah, sure. You know, with the, you said about the, the students who are from other regions, you know, yeah. there are some kind of students who are just from the interiors. Okay. They never had smartphones. Wow. They never had, I mean, the or even maybe used. private computers, I mean, the PCs. Yeah. They never even used this, that kind of kiswaswa, did they say that? Yeah. yeah. So when they come inside, they come inside here, yeah, maybe, uh, especially in the University of, of Dar es Salaam, they meet people who are, who they, who have, who have all that. All, all the kind of PCs, tablets, I don't know. They, they, can, act, they, they can easily they access. access. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, what I said, freedom is allowed, but too much freedom is rude. That the guy is, um, the girl or the boy from the interior region, when they, they access the phone mm -hmm. for the first time, you can yeah. just imagine. You can even imagine that a, 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 what, a prisoner yeah. from, the, from jail, when he is allowed to, I mean, to access the community, you can see that sometimes he may, if okay. he was a thief, then maybe there are two things. Mm -hmm. Whether he, he, I mean, for the kind of, he will all, I mean, he will continue being one yeah mm -hmm. being one of the thief or maybe he'll use the time the time being i mean to yeah. make himself in a best condition okay have you all attended the orientation the very first week orientation the very first orientation yeah. the second orientation to okay. the have you exactly. have you okay so how far do you think these might help uh to those students who are the first years, because I think that in, in orientation, you're told almost everything. They are not allowed to do this, and yeah. not allowed to do that. You get this good education. For those who have missed, what do you think is the outcome? A lot of. Mm -hmm. First of all, be ready that you lose a lot of time finding the specific area <coughs> your friends are. Okay. For example, you're told, Eloara, that number. Yeah. Eloara, that number. Yeah. Think like is this what are these? another subject or maybe what? <laughs> yeah. the class you're maybe allocated to be, yeah. or you think like <coughs> code about certain subject yeah. is the class. So there is a lot of different issues. Yes. It's a big difference from where we were to where we are now that you need to be allocated but need to be educated more and more about the yeah. new place you are. So if anybody missed it, this, I think you'll have time to stand or even have time to, to group each other with those yeah. people who are here earlier yeah. and that they can assist him or they can help him be aware of what was talked here, how many things were people educated on, how many things yeah. were people told about the university. If not so, then the one might even give up like, where am I? Okay. What told me to be here? But yeah. the one is right to be here, it's the right choice. Only be, being late, being here, might be one of the things that will make the one that feel I shouldn't be here. Okay. There are a lot of things that you have to be allocated to do, you have to be educated on those issues like do this, do this, do this. Yes. If you don't do this, then you'll be against this law. If you don't do this, this effect will be on you. Like, uh, people may think like, when I'm at the university, I'm free doing yeah. anything. But there are things that you're not allowed to do this yeah. way. Fighting is prohibited. A lot of negative issues, they are not allowed here. Like that discrimination being the sexual discrimination or any other discrimination is not allowed here. A lot of things that are not allowed here. But if you don't know, if you're not educated, if you're not given that directive, you cannot even be aware of what's not allowed here. Yeah. So 
there is a lot of importance being near and getting that uh i can say information as, information soon, as, as soon as possible as you hear so i just uh, i can say i just told those people we are not present yeah maybe intentionally or just accidentally just happened to the challenges that people are facing if you get time being here then make sure that you are aware of all the things that your friends are doing. Oh, okay. yeah thank you Dear viewer, this is Mlimani TV and you're currently watching Mlimani Discussion Forum. The students here have explained so many things. They have talked about their great expectations, their dreams, what they want to achieve. One of them has even said that wants to become like Salim Kikeke, the famous journalist, uh, actually very good at his job, or even maybe wants to become more than him. These people have very high expectations, but at some point, we have heard of this famous quote or phrase. They say a degree is currently useless, be it a bachelor's degree or a master's degree. It's very useless. Yet, we see so many students still pouring at the universities. Faradi, what can you say about this phrase? A degree is currently useless. I know you must have heard about this, but I can see you here. At the university, um, the first person that told me this yeah. was the motorcycle rider. Really? Yeah. So it has really happened to you personally. It's really happened to me, telling yeah. me that are you still studying? I said, yeah, I'm still studying. I have expectations, expectations yeah. of studying more and more years in yes. front of me. Then he told me taking more education paths like degrees, masters, mm -hmm. PhDs. It's nonsense these days. Still on your future. Then I yeah. was thinking of myself, like, should I ask what level did you end? Yes. Or what level did you end yeah. questioning me? What the degree are you carrying? Yeah. One of them, two of them, PhD or anything yeah. else. For you to say that. Yeah, and what I realized is like those people have not yet done this. Those yeah. people who don't know the suitability of being here are yeah. the ones who are saying that doing this is worse. Okay. But the people who have done this, I don't think like you go to any minister any professor, yeah. any doctor, any engineer, any doctor, any engineer, any journalist, any president of yeah. any country, and the one who tell you like studying it's worse. Yeah. Why okay. won't tell you that he has been one among the people who studied. He knows the suitability of having education. Yeah. Those people saying that don't study, studying is like degrees, I don't know, carrying degrees is like wasting time, deal with your future. Are those people that they gave up? Okay. Those people that gave up about education, they couldn't even face the challenges. You know, the way you, you, you try to struggle around, it's the way yeah. that you find out about something. Yeah. I have to struggle. I decided this. Our education structure is like you spend a, like 13 years to 18 years studying. Yes. For example, I'm 20 years old. Mm -hmm. I spent 13 years of my age studying. Yeah, studying. You told me to give up at this level. Yeah. Why did you tell? Why did you tell me before when I was eight that at you a very have 12, age. 13 ages, 12, 13 years in front of you? Yeah. Don't spend them studying. Come and we do this. Yeah. The one couldn't. Why he was also studying? Mm -hmm. He gave up, and he wants me to follow his way. And I can say, we should not even. Should not we have to listen that. to them. Okay. Not listen. We have to yeah. hear to them, but yeah. not listen to them and put them into consideration. But. When you fail, you say, someone told me, that's not right. You should have stand on yourself, do what is right for you. Yeah. You know, education, it's one among the things that is productive for everybody who did it, for everybody who could not even give up and to yeah. help you. Try search for those people who ended up giving up in education and ask yeah. them what's wrong on your side and yeah. what's right what on your happened? side about giving up in the part of education. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of artists here. Artists like uh, musicians, for example, on the side of the music industry. In TZ here, we have Damon Platinum, yes. who every day talks about the importance of studying. Of studying. Although like, he did not study himself. He did not study. But he's trying to give the people who are still studying, like, make sure you don't drop that. Mm -hmm. We have artists like musicians, like, uh, I can say it was Dogo Janja, saying yes. the same thing that I can say, uh, why didn't I study? Yeah. I regret myself on why couldn't I continue with studies. Yeah, I have the better life, I have money, I have cars, I have the house, but I miss one thing, being the complete one. Okay. I didn't have education. I cannot stand with the people with money and everything yeah. that I have, but also they have education. Yeah. They are better than me at the higher level. So what's important is that 
make yourself different from others. From they tell yeah. you to fall on their side, but think more than twice. Okay. Am I right being there? Am I right following what they have said? Mm -hmm. Why do you think like your mom? They are families, you know, that mom, dad didn't have education, but yeah. they are fighting for their children, like to have something that will help. Our parents are trying to, to invest on us on the part of education, knowing that money is there, but education will stand on you forever. Yeah, always. Education will make you have the skills, will make you have the company, will make you have the connections of doing better than even what you think you are. Okay. And what can you say about that uh, particular phrase that you've just stated? Uh, with my side, I never make the phrase, but mm -hmm. I think if it was a motion, I could have opposed Okay, yeah, coming exactly. to those secondary vibes, exactly. debating, okay, debating, right. debating so opposing and proposing. Opposed, yeah, okay, exactly. the, the main reason behind it is, my colleague just said there, that you said, the, the guy told you that you should focus on your future, right? Yeah. And what's your future? Yeah, what's your future? What's your future? That's your future? That's the question that you should always okay. ask, what's your, what's your future? Because, you know, we, we differ. Some some people, their future, maybe it's being a music, mu musician, and musicians don't have to study, I think, with a degree. Some people, they with some people they have talent. Yeah. Some people, their future is talent. Not, yeah. I mean, not profession. So we okay. live in career, talent, and professions. So what I think, if your future is talent, then you have it inside you. Okay. You don't need to study. But if your future is... Is, I mean, you have a certain profession inside you. Okay. Then you should study, you find a degree of master or a PhD then there. Okay, one last question. You can answer me briefly. Okay, what are your expectations after finishing the course? Which job would you like to do? Personally, I, I wish to be an accountant, but I have to extend my studies. I have to be a certified public accountant. Oh, CPA. Exactly. Say CPAT, right? Yes. Sure. I wish you all the best. And uh, Faraji? More than a journalist. More than a journalist. <laughs> What's more than a journalist? If you'd like to specify. Yeah, making people happy. Making, making people, people happy. know that they are somewhere where they have to be. Okay. We have people who have given up, but I should tell them that don't give up. Okay. You Do you want to become a motivational things. speaker? That's Mot motivational yeah? speaker. Yeah. 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 That's why I say more than a journalist. <laughs> more than a journalist. Making people who have the information, entertainment, yes. and everything that they have to make themselves better. Make, okay. Have to make themselves feel like we have no difference in this world. Okay. It's all part of journalism. Okay. Putting people closer, putting people together, making people know what's going on in, in and out this country, in and out this globe. You know, we have the universe out there. You're used to saying so that okay. Tanzania is part of another world. It's the world of peace. Yeah. World of war by, you're not my mother's child, but you're my relative. Okay, you that is Tanzania. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's Tanzania. That's so spirit of we have, relative. That's spirit of yeah. friendship, brotherhood, and anything else. That's what we should provide them with. That's journalism and more than journalism that I have given. Thank you so much, Vanessa. Thank, thank you so you. much, Faraji. Thank you so much for coming. Yeah, hmm. Okay, thank you so much. You are watching Limani TV, MDF. We had a wonderful conversation with the first year students on uh, the experiences that they're actually encountering here at the University of Dar es Salaam. Thank you so much. Till next time, my name is Esther Liaru.